Hello everyone, so today I'm filming a very different video than what usually goes on my channel and I hope you'll be okay with that. I hope you'll be understanding. I hope so. So today I'm talking about my makeup favorites. I know, you're like, this is not books, this is not movies, what are you doing? But, you know, I love makeup, I really do. And I thought, you know, I would put it on my channel. My channel's called Bookables, I get that, but sporadically, not all the time. I'm gonna put random videos of this because why not? It's fun, it's different, and it's fun. So like I said, today I'm talking about my makeup favorites. And I just want to say, one, I am not a makeup guru. I am not a professional. Half the time I don't know what I'm doing. Everything I've learned about makeup is literally I've learned on YouTube. I just have favorite, I just, you know, have done it for quite some time. I really consider it a hobby of mine, right behind reading books, honestly. And I love makeup, I really do. I love buying it, I love putting it on, I love testing it, all that kind of stuff. And with that, I have favorites, some products that I just love that I really wanna to talk to you guys about. Because without any further rambling, I'm gonna go into some of my favorites. And yes, just note that I am not a guru because I'm sure half the time my face looks like a hot mess anyway, but I try and these are just the products I feel like I try good with. Is that right to say? The first one is the new one that just came out literally a month ago and I decided to get it. And it's called the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I mean, look at this cute packaging. What I love about all their stuff, it usually smells like chocolate. Mm. But I really like this palette. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional, so I really tend to go for neutrals, like browns and stuff. I know that works for me. So half the time when I'm putting on eye makeup, I usually go for brown. So this whole palette is just very good. I love how neutral it is, but I love how you have this beautiful gold right here. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's got like some orangey tones in it, which I do like. That's a new venture for me in itself. And I love this pur fun purple. I've tried putting on purple eyeshadow. It just does not look good for me. It looks like I have bruised eyes. It looks like I have black eye all the time when I put on the eyeshadow, so help me out here. But I love this palette. It's just a really easy palette. You could do a lot of different looks with it, but, you know, I really like it. The next palette, which is honestly, it's probably my favorite palette, and that's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is the very first one. I I don't, you know, I don't have a ton of money, so what I really want to buy, especially high-end makeup, which I don't do a lot, honestly, I really put down research, especially with palettes. I look to see, well, I use this a lot. Will this be, you know, know I can I get a lot of looks at it you know well I use it a lot pretty much and this one is just a beautiful palette again it smells like chocolate but it is basically heaven for me with all of the neutrals all of the browns everything I have some shades which I am so obsessed with like marzipan I love this one salted caramel I use it every time milk chocolate I love how you have these sporadic like you have some purpley shades but I use this a lot I'm wearing it today it's a great neutral palette that I just feel is very versatile and also very just you know you can wear it every day but you can also if you're going out for the night which I don't do but if I did I would use this palette and smoke it up a little bit because I feel like you can do a lot with it. So um, a really really recent purchase literally within two weeks ago I decided I really wanted a new foundation. I've tried a lot of high-end foundations that I haven't loved. I've tried the Too Faced one, I've tried an Urban Decay one, so I was kind of very hesitant to buy another high-end foundation because I don't know I feel like I haven't liked it but I have bought this one I'm really liking it and I just like it a lot. It's the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I never thought I would be a Clinique person. I just, I don't know, I never did it. Now, I don't want it to be too heavy on me because I don't have super oily skin, but I don't know, I just don't like feeling very, a lot of fullness on me. So I feel, I've heard reviews of that Clinique one being very heavy, very just well on you, and I felt the same way as the Too Faced one. Honestly, it was also quite orange, so I didn't like that one as much. But this one is a very lightweight, but still full coverage, which I am definitely, that's my market. I want it to be lightweight, but I still want it to be medium to full coverage. Like, I don't need it to be like insanely full coverage, but I want it to be medium coverage. And I'm really liking this. Perfect match for my skin tone. I'm in the color ivory because I'm a pale girl, but who knows, we all tan up this summer. But like I said, this is lightweight and it's got a medium to full coverage. I think if you really wanted to put on a lot and build up your coverage, it would do great. But I feel like throughout the day it wears nice. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin it feels nice and just I don't know soft is that the right word but I really enjoy it so far and I can see myself buying this again it was only I want to say it's around $28 so it's up there but it's not like really up there because I know there are some foundations that are that are 50 I'm like I don't know about that but I really like this one so far so if, if any of you use Clinique tell me did you like this or did you not like this let me know hi the last high-end thing I want to talk about is um, a new purchase for me as well, like the Clinique one, but I'm really liking it so far. It's the Professional from Benefit. Now, 
this girl's got some pores. She's got some really big pores, mostly on my nose. My pores are like the worst on my, on my nose. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, <sighs> I think I honestly got it from when I broke my nose years and years ago and I had to wear like almost a cast on it for weeks. I think that just really just annihilated my pores and blackheads everywhere and I cannot for the life of me get rid of them. So I am always hating foundation when I put it on because of my pores. But I recently got this and this is supposed to not take away your pores but kind of blur them to make it look like they're not really there. And it does an amazing job. I was so skeptical like I am most of the time because I don't know. But this really does literally blur your pores. Like you can still barely see them but it looks so much better than if you just had just straight up no pores. I think I would even wear this if I didn't wear foundation and stuff because it just helps kind of Blur them, you know? Blur the lines with the pores because for all you big poor people out there, I get it. It sucks and it is not fun and this helps. I recommend if you have really big pores, this will help you out a ton. I think all their whole line of the professional is really good. Moving on to drugstore or cheaper options, which, which I love because I feel like you can really find good products in the drugstore and they're becoming so much better day by day. Like new products are coming out and they're just competing with high end and it's just amazing. So I have a couple here to show you. The first one is from the brand Makeup Revolution London. This one's the blush palette and they have several of these and it's $10 and you get da -da -da, 10 blushes which is an amazing amazing thing I think I have which one do I have I have the sugar and spice I really want to get the other one that's kind of deeper tones but these are beautiful I will say I do have a full-size makeup revolution blush and it is the only blush and I'm not kidding you the only blush and I love blush that's my favorite thing ever that I've ever owned that stays on all day like I'm talking about if I apply the thing at 10 a.m. it's gonna be there at 10 p.m. like it is so pigmented it'll stay on there it's beautiful and I love it so I swear by these blushes and they're a great price so you, you should definitely get them so this one like I said is um, $10 and you get a lot of um, I got I went for a lot of brighter stuff because of the spring and summer because I really like that but I, they have several palettes that you could diff get different ones and the pigmentation is amazing it's beautiful and these are almost like highlighters right here so these two are kind of like highlighters palette it's a recent purchase as well but I highly recommend it their blushes because they are just like amazing. The next thing is from e.l.f. which I really love e.l.f. It's the contour palette and I want to say it's in the light shade but I oh my gosh I love this thing. Contouring I have really tried. I am not good at it. I've tried a lot. I feel like I'm decent at it. I'm not anywhere near okay like really good at it. I try to right in here and I really feel like this palette really helps me out because I have very fair skin so colors like that are really dark scare the crap out of me because I have fair skin. I'm like, I know. These are kind of dark, but they're not so dark where I'm like, I can't look at you. But I love this one. It's warm up my face, bronzing a little bit, and then I'll contour a little bit, and then I'll go on this with this shade right here and really kind of define it. You probably can't see it because of my lighting, but whatever. I really like this. It was only like five bucks. Even up here, you can get like a powder that can help set your stuff. And this is a very light, could be a highlighter, but I mainly use these two down here and I really like it. And I feel like it's a great product for only $5 because there are a lot of contour palettes that are very expensive and I can't justify buying that, but this I think is great. Next thing is a hair product item and I'm only going to talk about one because I just, I love it. I, um, I'm a mom and as a mom, you don't get to take a shower. And as a mom, you don't get to take as many showers as you want to. Life would be amazing if I could take them any time I wanted to and blow dry and straighten my hair, but I just, I don't have time. I don't have the opportunity. So dry shampoo is my best friend. I use dry shampoo at least three or four times a week. It's just the best. And I have used so many different dry shampoos and I have never found the one, you know, like you, there's products that you're like, this is the one, like you were meant for me. You are just everything. And I have finally found it and I'm so excited. It's the Batiste dry shampoo. This is the only dry shampoo I feel like really cleans my hair and makes it fresher and not so oily. My hair will get really oily very fast. So this really helps out a lot and I feel like it's amazing. So if you need dry shampoo in your life and you've tried and tried a lot of products and you still can't find it, I highly suggest checking out Batiste. They're careful like you just washed it and you'll be like, oh man. 
it's great. I don't have time to take a shower, but it feels like it did. That was my makeup favorites. I hope that I did not bore you to tears. I enjoyed it somewhat, and I will get back to regular book videos. Don't you worry. These videos will come every now and then, so it'll be sporadic, so don't 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 fret. But anyway, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. That one means so much to me. And comment, tell me what's your favorite makeup. I told you all my problems, my pores, my oily skin, my oily hair. <laughs> So let me know if there's any products that you love that are you're in the same boat as me that I should check out. Please help help a girl out. We'll help each other out. Seriously. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.